In our last program, we looked at nucleophilic substitution, and that took place because some substances like to seek positive charges. In our next two programs, we're going to look at electrophilic substances, substances that are seeking negative charges. So let's start off by taking a look at the molecule of benzene. You might recall from its orbital diagram, there's a group of sigma bonds, strong sigma bonds, and then there's also pi bonds that are present. These pi bonds allow for a cloud of delocalized electrons that lie both above and below the plane of the molecule. These pi electrons, these electrons that are here, these are very susceptible to attack. Many substances can be attracted to these delocalized electrons. Let's take a look at the overall reaction, first of all, that involves these substances that like the electrons. So here I have um, a benzene ring with a carbon, and here I'm using the symbol E to represent an electrophile, something that likes electrons. A typical substance, which I'll look at a little bit more, that likes that is this substance called the nitronium ion. We'll look a little bit more closely at how one is made in a moment. But the overall reaction is that this substance will essentially switch places with one of the hydrogens, and then the hydrogen then becomes released. So we should then finish up with a molecule that looks like this, my benzene ring with my hydrogens attached at all of these locations, and now substance E, my electrophile has hooked on, and hydrogen now leaves with a positive charge. So this is the overall pattern we're looking for. Now, a little bit about how this nitronium ion is made. This is a particularly strong electrophile. Having a positive charge makes it really look for or be attracted to negative things, and especially these electrons up here. To make this species, we mix together two very strong acids. Sulfuric acid is mixed with nitric acid. This being a stronger acid of the two will donate its proton to the nitric acid. So we will form this ion and this species. Now this isn't particularly stable and it will immediately break down into two simpler molecules, one of them being the water molecule and the other being our nitronium ion. So nitronium is quite often used as the example in electrophilic substitution reactions with benzene. Now we have an idea of the overall reaction, let's take a look at how the electrons move in the reaction mechanism. So I'm going to use this diagram to represent benzene. And here I'm going to represent the electrophile here with this symbol. The first thing that happens is the electrons that are present here in this ring, these move to attract and draw in and bond with my electrophile. So sort of what happens is I'll form benzene. The ring now has been disturbed, so I'm going to show it with a circle and bonded at a site relatively close will be both a hydrogen and our electrophile. And now to balance charge, because we've lost electrons from the ring and they're over here, this species forms. This again is a transition state, a very unstable molecule. And what now happens is the hydrogen will supply the electrons to complete the ring and make it stable, thereby losing its bond or its connection to the benzene ring. But it does reestablish the integrity of that ring. E is now bonded at that site. And the hydrogen, which gave up its electrons, has now been released. So that represents the overall reaction. Again, it happens in a single step. But what one needs to be careful of is this high energy step. Again, pay particular attention to the use of the curling arrows to show how the electrons move in the mechanism. In our next program, we'll look at electrophilic addition reactions.